The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is an advanced stealth tactical fighter jet used exclusively by the United States Air Force. As it flew from Nellis Air Force Base, images of the advanced fighter jet with its mysterious skin coating appeared on social media. In December 2005, the F-22 Raptor, a single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter developed at the Aeronautical Systems Center at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, entered service with the U.S. Air Force. The Raptor as a fighter jet can also be used for ground attacks, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence operations. With an emphasis on stealth, agility, and range, the aircraft was intended to replace the Air Force's F-15 fighter jet. The service ended production of these fighter jets in April 2009, when Secretary of Defense Robert Gates announced the Pentagon would end the Lockheed Run F-22 Raptor program in favor of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The last F-22 was delivered to the Air Force in 2012. Air Force Technology reports that the service currently has 183 F-22 Raptors in the inventory. A five-year maintenance contract worth $7 billion was awarded to Lockheed Martin in December 2019 for the Air Force's current F-22 Raptor fleet. The Eurasian Times reports that the company has also been awarded a $10.8 billion contract by the F-22 Program Office for advanced Raptor enhancement and sustainment. Lockheed Martin is focused on ensuring the F-22 can seamlessly connect with other platforms as a part of the Air Force's joint all-domain operational strategy. In terms of open systems architecture and digital engineering, Lockheed Martin contends no better example can be found than the F-22 Raptor. Designed to defend the nation's Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marine Corps, the F-22 Raptor is an important part of the Global Strike Task Force. It can project air dominance rapidly and at great distances, along with fighting threats to deny access to the nation's armed forces. F-22 Raptor measures 18.9 meters in length, 5.9 meters in height, 13.6 meters in wingspan, and has a range exceeding 1,600 nautical miles. A variant of the M61A2 Vulcan cannon is mounted internally above the right air intake. There are four hard points on its wings, each capable of carrying 2,270 kilograms. Consequently, it can carry an AIM-120A AMRAM or an external fuel tank. Three weapon bays are located within the Raptor. According to Air Force technology, the main bay can carry six AMRAAM AIM-120C missiles, or two AMRAAM and two 1,000-pound GBU-32 Joint Direct Attack Munitions JDAMs. Background. 1986 marked the beginning of the demonstration and validation phase for the advanced tactical fighter. Both prototypes, YF-22 and YF-23, completed their first flight in late 1990. In the end, the YF-22 was selected as the best of two, and engineering and manufacturing development began in 1991 with Lockheed Boeing airframe and Pratt & Whitney engines, winning development contracts. During the EMD, subsystems and systems were extensively tested, as well as nine aircraft flew at Edwards Air Force Base, California. EMD made its first flight in 1997, and at the end of its flight test period, this aircraft was used for live fire tests. In 2001, the program received approval 
to begin low-rate initial production. During 2004, the Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Center completed the initial operational and test evaluation. Considering the maturity of the design and other factors, full rate production was approved in 2005. Pacific Air Forces, Air Education and Training Command and Air Combat Command are the primary Air Force organizations that fly the F-22. F-A-22 was the aircraft designation for a short time before being renamed F-22A in December 2005, coating with a mirror-like appearance. The morning of November 19, an F-22 Raptor was spotted departing from Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. This stealth fighter intrigued viewers due to its drastically different appearance. Aviation photographer Santos Caceres posted some images of the aircraft to Instagram. There is a reflective coating covering the aircraft, similar to that on tiles. According to the war zone, Caceres' pictures show the shiny coating does not interfere with the aircraft's key access points, sensors, antennas, or other vital systems. The Raptor may have been covered with such a coating to test for some purposes, as opposed to its normal skin. An F-22 Raptor with such a coating has not been seen before, but this is not the first aircraft to wear such a look. The War Zone reported in June 2020 that one of the scaled composites Model 401 Son of Ares demonstrators conducted a series of test flights at Naval Air Weapons Center China Lake covered in a highly reflective metallic coating. The coating was quite similar to that on the current F-22 Raptors. At the time, it was speculated that this was done to test the capabilities of advanced infrared sensors and low-power laser systems for detecting targets with a mirror-like appearance. In recent years, there has been an influx of tests done on infrared search and track first systems, which are currently in the process of being fielded by the Air Force and the Navy. Because of its commendable performance, such as its ability to reach 60,000 feet regularly, the F-22 Raptor is a great platform for these systems to be tested. An altitude as high as this, as well as the cold and thin air, the dark and cold background, and the angle at which such sensors see their targets make it a great test ground for these types of sensors. It is also interesting to note that an aircraft like the F-22 Raptor, which is designed to not reflect electromagnetic energy from radars, is being used to test a skin coating that does the exact opposite. Now, top Air Force officials are convinced that the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor does not possess the magazine depth and range that would allow it to serve as the service's air superiority fighter of choice into the next decade. The exact timing of its retirement depends on how quickly the Air Force can produce its sixth generation fighter, said Lieutenant General Clinton Highnote who is the Deputy Chief of Staff for Strategy, Integration, and Requirements for the Defense Department. A ban on exports and the development of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter contributed to the decision in 2009 to decrease the program from 750 to 187 operational aircraft. The final F-22s were delivered in 2012. Lieutenant General Clinton Highnote said the Raptor will be used as a temporary solution until next generation air dominance is ready. Advancing Raptor Enhancement and Sustainment As of August 19, 2020, the United States Air Force has begun a modernization program for Lockheed Martin's F-22s known as Advanced Raptor Enhancement and Sustainment Ares. According to the U.S. Air Force Life Cycle Management Center, AFL-CMC, 
A summary of federal contract listings has been released. The listing indicates that Lockheed Martin Aeronautics, LMA, is the only company that can meet the Air Force's needs because it is the sole designer, developer, and manufacturer of the F-22 Raptor combat plane. Among the responsibilities specified in the notification are studies, analyses, and demonstrations, support for test force and system laboratories, and modernization and maintenance of flight software. The United States stops producing F-22 stealth fighters. A revolutionary jet, the F-22 was developed to redefine the way combat aircraft are built and operated. The F-22 is quick, stealthy, and highly maneuverable. The two Pratt and Whitney turbofan engines deliver more thrust than any other fifth generation jet, making it the best in the world in its class. In order to build a strong fleet of stealth interceptors for the 21st century, the U.S. Air Force planned to buy 750 F-22s. As the U.S. became more engaged in counter-terror and counter-insurgency operations against technologically inferior forces after the fall of the USSR, the demand for superior dogfighters diminished. Only 186 F-22 fighters were delivered before the program was shut down in December 2011. The upkeep of aircraft is expensive, and the aircraft must be taken care of. The Air Force has about 180 F-22s in its inventory, but almost half of them are grounded for maintenance at any given time. Despite its discontinuation, the F-22 Advanced Tactical Fighter remains a key weapon in the U.S. Air Force's arsenal. Air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles have been upgraded since the F-22 was introduced in 2003. Pre-flight tests on the F-22 take hours, with multiple crew members thoroughly inspecting the plane. This fighter plane's enormous cost is one of its main shortcomings. Cost calculations for the F-22 aren't universally accepted, which is part of the problem. 